Wow, Tokyo. Morning from Tokyo, brilliant. As we're warming up, just um, feel free to put in a few bursts. We're going to be working at the normal sort of 22, 24, a little bit of 26. So I'd suggest doing certainly 10, 15, maybe 20 strokes at each of those rates as we warm up. It's amazing. One thing I really learned having rowed at the sort of top level is actually how how hard you can push in a warm up. And your body just copes with it. But actually, when we were warming up before, before big races or even before an ergo test, you can actually really push push your body in the warm up so it's ready for the main event. And you really get those, you know, those 20 stroke bursts, you get those for free. Your body will, will recover very quickly and you'll be ready for the main, main session, main race, whatever it may be. You don't feel you have to hold back too much in the warm up. You really feel the benefit of having blown the cobwebs out. And your body will certainly help you there. about five minutes to go might be worth just checking you've got with your water towel any ventilation sorted Those of you that weren't in last week, and, and also just for a recap to those that were, we pretty much had two two sort of focuses really on on the pieces, certainly from a technical perspective. First one was just pressing pressing on the feet, pressing on the foot plate. That's how we were. We were addressing the um, the rate changes. We were really just thinking about pressing, pressing through that hip plate at the front end. Um, that just generated a little bit more steam on the handle on our rate changes. Um, it's just a nice way to think about engaging the legs of the press. It's not violent, it's not jerky, it's just floating up and pressing away. So that was the first thing. We're just thinking about pressing that foot plate away. And the front end. And the second thing was once you've generated that extra speed, both on this flywheel and the handle. 
especially when we're moving up on rates. This was about three, three freedom of movement. So we we'll generate that extra power. It's going to the handle. But then you want to move freely. What I mean by that is down the back end, keep the hands moving. The elbows, the elbows never stop moving at the back end. Yeah. So we're going to just keep that freedom of movement. And then you nice to loose legs on the way forward. So there were our two main focuses. And mainly we were using those in the rate changes. And we'll use that both as we move up in rate and when we come down. The other thing you mentioned, not so much from a technical point of view, but just in terms of the way we think about the pieces, just concentrating on that third quarter when you race at any level, but certainly when we were racing at international level, we saw that third quarter as the opportunity to really dig in, push on when others maybe wouldn't. So it's, it's as much a, it, it is a physical effort, but it's also a mental effort to switch on. But we'll, we'll work through and we'll, we'll sort of build on some of these points as we go through the pieces. So we've got about a minute to go. So I'm just going to set my machine up, sort my heart rate out. Uh, okay, nothing else in the chat. Everyone looks fairly happy out there and warmed up. So I'm just going to go to a select workout, new workout, intervals time. So we're going eight minutes. Yeah, actually, for those who are are new we're doing the four eight minutes so we'll set up eight minutes work time two minutes rest and the first piece we'll be looking at it's a fairly steady kick off to the session we're starting at 22 for four minutes and then we'll move to 24 for the the second half second four minutes but do pace yourself through the four pieces. If you've done it before, you'll know your, you know, your body and, and your limits. So just do pace yourself through. And I'll, I'll talk as much as I can. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to be getting a little bit out of breath. But a lot of the stuff I'll be talking about will be around those two areas that we've, we've focused on. But also, also what I'm telling myself as well. So hopefully that will be useful to you guys. So everyone looks like they're set and ready. We'll go. In about 15 seconds, I'm, I'm going to press my tick so I'm ready to go. So last slurp of water. And we'll go off in 10 seconds. So the best, the best stroke is, is actually when the flywheel's dead. So talking about pressing off the feet, we can really think about that on this first stroke when we're picking up the dead flywheel. So we'll go in five. Four, three, two, one, press off. And press again. Keep pressing away on the foot plate as that flywheel just starts to move now. That's good. That's it. That's nice. Down on to 22 for those first four minutes. Into a nice rhythm. We press the way nicely off the start. And then we just think about our, our second point, which is just freedom of movement. So we think about the elbows. Not stopping down the finish. Just keep them moving. And freedom of movement as we come forward. 
with loose legs. So the legs are loose and relaxed as we move forward. That's good. Good start. Nice rhythm. It's nice and free moving on the way forward. As we reach into the towards the flywheel, there's the gap where the chain goes into. It's sort of like a giant slot machine. We've got that slot where the chain goes. I sort of really think about reaching into that slot. So our elbows move down the finish. Nice and free. But even when you're coming over the knees and shins with the hands, keep reaching for the slot. Reach forward there, all the way into that slot. So I almost think about having to move again with the hands after they've come round the finish, move again from the shins into the slot. That's good. So we're really stretching off, stretching into the slot the front end. That's good, that's a nice change. And just quick check on yourself. You are stretching from the armpits, the lats. So you're stretching from down low in the torso, not up high in the shoulders. Keep the tension out of the shoulders. They're loose. You can give them a wiggle on the way forward. And so reach you from low in the torso, lap to down fits, okay? Good start. Coming up to the first change. We'll move on from 22 to 24. Press with the legs. Okay, here we go for five. One, press. Two. Press. Four. Five. Good. You've got the speed on the handle now. Now move freely. Elbows. Moving. Good. 24. Good change. Freedom of movement. Loose legs on the way forward. Reach to the slot. Low in the torso. Stretch into the slot. Good. Good on 24. Nice rhythm. Loose arms on the way forward. Tension out of the shoulders. Stretch them low down in the armpits. Stretch the lats. That's good. With a nice rhythm. 24. As 
those of you who like to think about their breathing. Set that up now. Maybe exhale. And we'll finish. Get the rhythm into uh, your breathing. Whatever works for you. Okay, good first piece, guys. Finish off this last 20 shakes. Getting loose. Reaching out into the slot. Reach and press. Good. Reach out. Press away. That's nice. 24. Good. Good start. Push. That's it. Use your rest time. Quick drink. Really good start. The changes and the technical calls really work well for me. So that was a good rhythm. Okay, second piece. Split it into four lots of two minutes, starting at 22. In the first two minutes, 24, back to 22 and up to 24. So we'll keep our focus on the rate changes on our two, two focus points, just pressing the foot plate at the front end and moving freely once we've generated that, that speed on the handle. Okay, we're going up in 10 seconds. Everyone's looking ready. In five. Okay, so use this press for the first five strokes to get you into the rhythm. Here we go. Press. Press the foot plate. Press it there. Good. On to 22. That's good. Feeling refreshed. It's amazing. Just what that two minutes can do. Slightly lower rate. Let's use the time to relax on the way forward. Loose legs. And stretch into the slot through the lats under the armpits. Stretching all the way in. Good. Still moving freely at the lower weight. The elbows not stopping around the finish. No sticky. Sticking with the handles at finish. 
We always keep moving. Even at 22, the elbows move. Good. Check on your finished position. Good posture. If it's right, lean back. Keep your abs engaged. Keep your tummy engaged. And finish. That's good. So here we go. We're moving on to 24. We're going to press the foot plate to five. Go. Press. Press. Three. Four. Five to change. 24. Now move three. You've generated the extra speed on the handle. So now move with it. Don't hold it back. Freedom of movement. Good. Reach into the slot with the front end. So move the hands on over the shins into the slot. Stretching through under the arms, stretching the lats. Good at 24. Quick check on the breathing. Okay, when we move down to 22, same focus. You just got to check the press through the feet. To five, go. Press. Press. Four. Five. Now move freely. Take a bit of time. As you come forward. Loose legs. To change. Loose legs. As you come forward. Tension out of the shoulders. Just good, guys. We are in our third quarter of the piece. We just have a mental check. So we're pressing the foot plate and we're moving free. Relax. Good. 22. Heart rate's good for me. Where it should be. Good solid piece. Approaching the last change. Up to 24. We'll put a bit more speed on the handle with the press. Here we go. For five. Press. Two. Three. Five. Good. Right, 
move three. Freedom of movement. Round back end. That's good change. 24. This is good. You're doing well. This is our solid rate. We've got a good rhythm. Pressing. The foot plate. All the way to the finish. Always wait on the foot plate through the drive. Good. The quads working all the way through. Pinning the finish. Good, everyone. Check on relaxation. Good shoulders. Stretching into the slot. Good. <laughs> Maybe just move. Another 20 seconds if you can. No work. Just move up and down. Good. Really good effort. I was talking about when we generate the push or the press at the front, try and keep the quads engaged all the way through the stroke. So actually you pin, pin the finish with the quads. You always need to make sure that there's weight on the foot plate because that's what's generating speed on the handle. I mean, I don't use... Uh, you use bare feet so I can really feel at the finish that I'm, I'm pinning the, the, the press off the front carries all the way through and I pin the finish and move the elbows off they should all, that, that elbow movement and pull with the arms you should feel that in your feet if it's not generating pressure on your feet it's probably not doing much to your score so just check that at the finish that you can still feel the press on the feet. Okay. Change every two minutes, 22, 24, 26, 24. Going in five. Really think about that press, these first five strokes. You ready? Here we go. We're pressing. Good. Press the foot plate away. Generating. That speed on the handle. That's good. Oh, yeah. I'm 23, so I'm just going to take a little bit more time. And the knees coming forward. But I'm still stretching into the slot. That's 22. Good. We're on it. Set my rhythm. Feeling good after the two minute rest. Back into it. So loose arms. Loose shoulders. We've got time at 22. Check on our posture. 
to the back end. Slight lean back. Tummy's engaged. Elbows moving. And also at the front. Sitting tall. Lifting over. The top of the screen. Head up. Elongate the spine. Okay, we're going to 24. By pressing the foot plate again. For five, here we go. One. Press. Four. Five, good. We've got the speed on the handle now. Move freely. Elbows. Never stop. Good. 24. We're moving well. Change. Stay relaxed. Just check your feeling, weight on the toes, through the feet, all the way through. From finish from start to finish, feel the leg press. And it's weight going through the foot plate all the way to the finish. Okay. We come to third quarter. We're ready for it. Twenty six. We're going to press the five. One, two, three. Good. Press through the foot plate. And move. Breathe in the movement. Good. 26. Third quarter. Dig in, everyone. Help each other out. We're doing well. Get a good rhythm. Carry each other through. Good. Nice and relax. Loose knees. All the way forward. Good shoulders. That's good. Third quarter. We'll switch from mentally. We're making the changes. Twenty-four. We're going to press the foot plate for five. Go. Keep the speed on the handle. Three. Good. And move freely. 
Uh, you should have a bit more time just to check on your positions. Good postures. No slumping. Strong at the back end. Sit back slightly. Keep the tummies on. And finish. Abs engaged. Good. Really good. Nice rhythm. You can see it all the way through. Last 20 strokes. Press the foot plate. There. And move freely. Elbows moving. Stretching out into the slot. Last 10, let's make it good. Technical. Mentally switched on. Keep pressing and moving. <sighs> Try and move to thirty. No work. <sighs> Really good. Good changes. Whew. Great effort. That third, third quarter is always key. We've just posted a really strong one. That's brilliant. So last piece, maybe just remind yourself of what, if any, goals you should sort of set before the session. If you're on PB, if you're in PB territory, stick with it, really push on. If you're just getting it done, just keep on sticking there. So just revisit if you've had something in mind before the session. So this last one we're going to do in three lots of two minutes. So we go 22 for two minutes, a minute pad minute paddle, 24 for two minutes, minute paddle, and then 26 for two minutes. And in that last two minutes, if you want to push on in the final minute of that, you just listen to your body and, and go for it if you can. But we're going in 10. If you want to paddle between the between the pieces, then do so, just to keep moving. Okay, so we really use that press on this first one, 22. Here we go. Press that foot plate away. Generate the speed on the flywheel and the handle. Good, that two minutes is really refreshed. Refresh me. Really good now at 22. Not having loads of time. That's really good. We'll just use this piece just to check on your posture. Back end. Sitting strong. Coming strong. Using your abs. Just a slight lean back. And then the elbows move. As you're leaning back, just before the elbows move, you should still feel pressure on the foot plate. As you're pulling on the handle, you should feel that in your feet. Really think about 
pointing the toes all the way to the finish. Quads are engaged from the early press all the way through. That's good. I've just made two seconds improvement on my split just with those technical changes. That's no physical effort additional. It's just a technical change of posture. We're keeping the feet loaded to the finish. That's good. Minute paddle. Felt like there was loads of time in that 22 then. Could really feel the press, but also have the time to get my posture right and really stretch into the slot. Had loads of time on that one. That was good. So this next two minutes, we're at 24, we're going in about 15 seconds. So as you're paddling, we're going in 10. So as we pick up the speed on the flywheel, we're going to do that by pressing the feet. So 24, here we go, for five. Press. Press, good. Four, good. Freedom of movement, elbows, never stop, loose legs on the way forward, reach, reach into the slot, from below the arms, stretch the lats. That's good, we're at 24. Feels like I've got time. I'm generating the time of making a good press through the foot plate. That's good. Good first minute. We're strong on 24. Just a quick check. Back on the front end, pressing through the foot plate. I just think about pressing vertically down through my shins at the front end. So we're pressing vertically down through those shin bones onto the foot plate. Yeah, that's going to be a second. Just that technical change. Vertical pressure. Down through the shin bones. That's where we do the pressing. Hands first to the foot plate. That stays the three, three seconds on my split. Just from the way I moved. No extra effort. Good. Good at 24. The press with the legs that we're getting is generating good speed on the handle, which gives us time so we can set ourselves up. Good posture, good relaxation. Okay. I don't know if Nigel's on, but he'd usually give us a call. Second, second minute of this last two. If you're up for it, you can push it on from 26. We've got 10, 10 seconds to go. We're off at 26. And we're going to generate the speed with the press. Here we go. Pressing for five. Last one. Let's go. Two. Three, good pressing. Vertically down through the shin bones. 
That's a good start. Now move freely. Elbows. Moving around the back. Pinning the feet. That's 26. That's a good rhythm. Feel time. Loosen up the arms and shoulders. Go. Loose coming forward. Reach into the swap and press. Pressing through the shins vertically. Okay. Pushing on to the last minute. Come with me. We're going to go to five. Here we go. Press. One. Two. Three. 28. Good. And move freely. Relax. We're still pressing. Good, everyone. Last 15 strokes. Here we go. Keep the press. And move free. Last 10. Press. Stay relaxed. Give the feet. And finish. Good. Good. That's good, everyone. Let's move if you can. I tend to use the last, this last two minute of rest just to paddle out. So I'm just moving with no real work at the moment. But by the, by the time it comes to the last, the last minute of rest, I'm back into proper rowing. Not working hard, but just the proper range of movements. Full length strokes. So I'm taking my muscles all the way through the range that they've just been working in, so that they all recover. And this is actually a really nice time just to think a little bit technically, because your body is tired. It won't put up any resistance, so it generally uh, will do what your mind tells it. It won't resist it. So just really reach out into the slot, leave the hands out there, don't pull them back, and then just press the foot plate. And feel, feel the feet or the press stretching the arms out. So hopefully your body should resist that because it's tired. <sighs> Oof. The session certainly goes a lot quicker when you're leading. I'm not too much not thinking about working hard, but just talking through the technical pushes and the, the, um, the session just whizzes by. So thanks for having me. It's, um, it makes the session quite enjoyable, not to just have to think about scores, but always thinking about the, the, the technique and the approach just both physically and mentally you know how we break it down and get through it so for me that just whizzed by 